So, Rings of Power Season 2 is upon us. The teaser trailer has just released and, um, well, it's not gone too well, has it? Because guess what? It's Rings of Power. It's Amazon. So naturally, everyone on the entire internet is either absolutely tearing it to shreds with a few brave heroes trying arduously to defend it. Or very stupid heroes take your pick. Seriously though, the comments underneath the trailer on YouTube are probably actually more interesting than the trailer itself. And no, I am not kidding about that. And regardless of how much I would love to just scroll through the hilarious comments instead of the actual trailer, that is not going to be the case because today we are going to be breaking down and looking at the brand new teaser in full and trying to see what we can dissect from it. Now, my initial thoughts and hopes before seeing this trailer for season 2 were obviously not that high, with Amazon keeping completely silent about it for a few months, which of course is never a good sign. However, I will admit this trailer has given me a bit of hope about the future of the show, or mainly just season 2. While there are a couple of very obvious mess ups and painful mistakes evident in the teaser, it's mainly alright, not too bad, but these mistakes could prove costly. So today I'll give my full review of the trailer at the end of the video, but for now, let's get into the breakdown of the official Rings of Power Season 2 teaser trailer. Well, firstly, we start with a shot of Halbrand, or Sauron if you will, walking into Mordo. Although I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that this is just a shot from Season 1 of him walking in, which won't be in the show, unless we pick up from that exact same moment at the start of the season. But yeah, that opening shot tells us nothing. Then we get the Amazon Prime logo, which is interestingly gold. And perhaps even more interestingly, the effect on the logo is such that it seems as if it is being consumed by darkness or evil until it disappears, which is pretty fitting as we have a voiceover from Durin at the same time, as he mentions an evil. We then get Talbrand just brooding as you, looking altogether not very happy. Then we cut to Prince Durin, a returning character from season 1, who finishes off the voiceover by stating how an evil, ancient and powerful has returned. It seems he is addressing a crowd, most likely a dwarven assembly. Then we see perhaps one of the more mysterious shots of the trailer, as we see what looks like some type of creature moving about. Where or what this is, I'm not 100% certain, but my gut instinct here is that it's something in Moria, I'm guessing, since the voiceover at the same time is being given by the Dwarf Prince Durin, but I could be wrong, because it looks like it may be outside. Although we did see the Balrog briefly in Season 1, so I guess that does fuel the idea that this could be in the depths of Moria. Then we go to our first shot of the main protagonist of the story, Galadriel, who is drawing her sword with Elrond and a couple of other Dwarf Elves around them, but I'm not really sure what the shot is. It looks like they're in a clearing in a woods of some sort and may have something to do with that shot before of the creature, but that might be a little bit of a stretch at this point. Then we cut to a seemingly completely different place and see a couple of bloody hands surrounded by butterflies. The clothing of the person does somewhat resemble the outfit of an elf, so maybe ha this has something to do with Arondia or Galadriel maybe, I'm not really sure. Then we see a room with the same kind of hue being filled by what seems like the same butterflies from the shot before, but this isn't really telling as much other than the fact that these might be consecutive shots. Then we cut to what I think is Lindon, from what we can see in the background as some leaves it seems crawl up, which no doubt have something to do with the evil of Anatar or Sauron. Then the next shot is quite similar but with one key difference as we can just slightly see Keller Brimbor in the background watching on. We then see a horde of orcs, Less led most likely by Adar travelling on the way to a battle. And next comes probably one of the most intriguing shots of the teaser, as we see Celebrimbo dressed in red looking at what seems to be a fire. The next shot makes it obvious though that this is more less, most likely Anatar, the arrival of Anatar rather, and the explosion seems to symbolise the eye of Sauron if you ask me, but perhaps that's just coincidence. Also, if you're not sure who, who, who Anatar is, he is basically just Sauron, aka Halbrand from Season 1, as Sauron was actually able to shapeshift and he changed his appearance to become an individual called Anatar so he could try and sway the elves during the Second Age, and this seems to be the beginnings of his doing that. We get a voiceover next from not, I'm not sure who, saying, I think he has been here, I think he has been here among us all along. Which, while the line delivery is pretty well done, is just stating the obvious to Tolkien fans that it is, of course, Anatar. And then we see the first proper shot of Anatar, and, um, yeah. You know, it's built up to be a really cool and scary moment, but it's somewhat for short, because if you haven't realised, this is just Charlie Vickers, the actor of Halbrand, with a wig and some pointy ears. It's the same actor as Halbrand, same features and everything except for the hair and ears. The whole point of Anatar was to trick the elves into believing in him by becoming someone different. 
Are you telling me that in the series, Galadriel, Elrond, Celebrimbor, and all the other elves aren't going, are going to be convinced that this is not Halbrand, that this is not Sauron? Seriously? Anyways, just moving on, it seems he has caused a bit of a commotion as we see a bunch of elves running around haphazardly and seemingly not knowing what to do in the background. And then we see the official release date for season 2, which is still another three and a half months away, with the release being on August 29th, and last season I'm pretty sure was on September the 2nd, so a bit of difference there. Then we get a few quick action shots, which honestly don't mean too much. We see Galadriel riding a horse, something that was not taken well in season 1. After that is a shot of a woman, and what looks like to be an enormous sea creature below her, ready to kill her. While I'm not entirely sure, I feel like this may not be an actual shot of the present, but perhaps a future scene of what may be Numenor being destroyed by the Great Flood, perhaps it's in the Palantir or a dream. It could even be Tarmiriel having this dream, who knows. Then we see Deezer, the old Durin, and then a massive boulder it seems landing in the middle of a bridge in Moria. Next is Elendil trying to push through a crowd, although to what, I'm not really sure. Then we see Galadriel screaming and an orc licking his knife, just your usual stuff. Subsequently, we see a shot of the three elven rings worn by the three bearers, and then one of the most perhaps interesting scenes of the trailer, perhaps one of the only ones, as we see old King Durin picking up a ring. And not just any ring, but I think a ring of power which could be really interesting. Perhaps it's a dwarven ring of power and is being gifted to him by Anatar to save his realms, perhaps alluding to or directly linked to the shot we saw of a massive rock landing on Moria Bridge a few seconds ago. Then we see Arondir back for some more action, and Isildur, who is definitely not dead after season 1, right behind him. There is a nice shot of Numenor, followed by Arpharazon, who is being trailed by an eagle. This is probably the beginning of Pharazon seizing power in Numenor, but what the eagle is there for, I'm not really sure. Then is a shot of a crying Theo, who I was really hoping not to have to see, because he was one of the most useless characters in season 1, and not gonna lie, we could really do without him and his mother Bronwyn in this show. Next is Isildo, looking up, perhaps as he is being rescued by Arondir. Following that are a couple of interesting shots, as we see cannonballs being fired on what I think is a Region, and this is, I'm 999% sure, the beginning of the siege of a Region, which was the war between the Elves and Sauron, which fits nicely into the time period. Then we get our first proper shot of the brand new Adar with our new actor, how he is also very notably different. And the next shot is our first look at the straight stranger in season 2 as he travels to Rune with Eleanor and a couple of other Harfoots, and who, speaking of, don't actually make a single appearance in this trailer. As to where this is, I'm betting this is somewhere around or near Rune, an area not really explored all that much by Tolkien, so it'll be interesting to see what they do with that. Then are a couple of quick shots as Galadriel fires a flaming arrow and we see a big explosion, which these two shots may be related, maybe, probably not though. Next we see Elrond in full armour leading a cavalry charge, which, to be honest, even in the trailer, looks a bit underwhelming compared to how some of the cavalry charges look in the Lord of the Rings. Then is Celebrimbor, who interestingly seems to be chucking rings into a fire. What rings these are is not really confirmed, whether they're some of the minor rings we know were created or something else, but from what I can count, there seem to be more than 10, or so perhaps they are just minor rings. And then finally, as the music reaches a climax, we see Anatar, surrounded by elven gods. One thing to note in the shot is actually Celebrimbor in the scene, who looks like he's had a rough time of it, perhaps even fought Anatar, which may be possible, although it's quite unlikely. And finally, we hear Galadriel utter, he is Sauron, at which point we get a close-up of Anatar as he unfolds his hands, and the screen is engulfed in light. And the last shot we get is an interesting one of what looks like a fortress of some kind of guess, but I'm going to be honest, I literally have zero clue what or where it could be. Although even Angmar didn't come round till the third age, it may be a fair guess, considering how much disregard for the lore the writers had last season. But anyways, that is the end of the trailer as we finish with the title, The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, a new season coming on August 29th. So then, despite the pretty short length of the trailer, there is quite a lot to talk about here. I did try to be as positive, or rather, as not negative as possible in the breakdown, which wasn't fully possible, but I'm still not too excited for season 2, though I'm not really that disappointed, mainly because my hopes were so low already, as I'm sure it was for many others after what season 1 was like. There were one or two interesting things, like seeing the Dwarven Rings possibly being presented to Durin, and um, I can't think of any actually other interesting moment to be honest. But yeah, I am, I would say, a bit more optimistic going into season 2 than I was into season 1. Partly because I feel like Amazon have had a chance to review and fix the mistakes and issues with this season. Although, if I'm if they're like anything like Disney, they will probably disregard every single criticism and drive ahead with the same rubbish.
and also if you want to get refreshed on the Rings of Power Season 1, I did a full video series on it, a full 7 part series on how Rings of Power Season 1 was absolutely terrible and each video was focusing on a different aspect of the show and why it was so bad, so make sure to check that out if you haven't already. In summary though, I'm not expecting much but have a sliver of hope, however small it is. But more important than mine, what's your opinion on Rings of Power Season 2 and the future seasons ahead? Make sure to tell me in the comments down below. But anyways, that is the end of today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to comment down below what you think of the new trailer for Season 2 and any Easter eggs or clues I missed out on that you want to mention. If you did enjoy, make sure to like the video, subscribe and turn on notifications for more because I talk about loads of other fandoms and franchises including Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Harry Potter, Dune, Marvel, Hunger Games and more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.